today we are going to have a discussion on hill climbing algorithm to understand the hill climbing algorithm let us consider a real life example suppose this is a given hill and we have to climb the hill so what our initial position is a and our goal position is this one so when we consider climbing a hill what we do is we start from the bottom of the hill we take step by step in the direction up towards the top and we slowly and steadily reach the top of the hill same is the condition in the case of a hill climbing algorithm what we do is we have two set of operations or we can say that we have one operator and a goal state the operator are the nodes or the points like we have mentioned here a b c d which we use and slowly and steadily we climb towards the top of the hill now let us consider the algorithm for this hill climb first step first step is evaluate the initial state if it is a good state or the goal state return and exit suppose we are at a position d we match it if it is same as the goal state if it is true we proceed and we exit and we have reached the goal state we don't need to do any further calculations if not then we go to step 2 keep looping until we get a solution or there are no new operators left that is we continue the loop till we reach the goal state it may happen that we are at a point c we have to move to point d we have to move above so that we could reach the goal state third step is as i explained just now when found select and apply new operators that is these are the operators when they are found, we apply them and select them at the new points and move towards the goal state. Last one is the most important one. Evaluate at the new state. If it is a goal state, then quit. If we have reached here, then quit. Else. If it is better than the current state, make it the new current state. So the new state, if it is towards the goal which we are, where we have to go, we select it and we remove the last one obtained state or the last point if it is not better go back to step number two that is we go back to the loop and we again proceed to the same procedure this is how we solve the hill climbing algorithm let's consider the limitations of this algorithm the first one is local maximum now the diagram we consider here was this one like this so here we had one maximum suppose it may happen that we start from here and we reach here and then all the points next to this, this point are decreasing so the algorithm may think that the points here are decreasing so this is the maximum but we see after proceeding a little bit that this is the maximum so the algorithm fails here this is the first limitation of this algorithm the second limitation is plateau as we can see from the diagram what the plateau says that after a point there are a lot of points which are on the same level so when the algorithm will proceed it will get same values for here for here for here for here so it would fail and it won't be able to give us the maximum point third and last limitation is ridge as we can see from the diagram ridge means that there are multiple points which are at the same height so the algorithm cannot give us a specific answer which is the local maximum or you can say we if we get a maximum here it can be from here and here so the algorithm cannot proceed in this way so this was our hill climbing algorithm and its limitations if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and like the videos and if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions for us, please let us know in the comment section. Thank you.